this is going to be a weekend read for you and your person. So the energy between you and a significant other, whoever you're dating, married to, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and get into this message. Um, like I said, it's just going to be a short message for you, Aquarius. This here in the middle is your energy. The top row is their energy. This side is the combin combination of the energy, the cl um, connection energy of the two of you. And then at the bottom is going to be some advice from spirit. So let's go ahead and see how your energy is. We have the Queen of Wands. Ooh, the Nine of Cups. Yeah. And the Knight of uh, Cups. So you have the Knight and the Nine of Cups as well as the Queen of Wands. So this is emotional energy here. So you are feeling pretty content, um, good about things. Um, you do wear your heart on your sleeves. So, you know, you could be, you know, sensitive in this issue. Um, usually Aquariuses are pretty logical, but you do have emotions, of course, and especially when you're connected to someone you love. So you really have a lot of feelings for this person, um, but you are very confident um, in yourself as well. So you are very, very balanced and um, at bliss, very grateful for the life you do have. So let's see what's going on with this person. Oh no, so they're feeling restricted and fenced in here. Let's see what else is coming up with that. Oh, yeah, see, they, um, they'd like to go out and celebrate, party, whatever. So they kind of feel restricted being in a relationship, like, you know, so, you know, take that as it resonates, but they're feeling restricted in, in a um, commitment here. And let's see what else. Uh, the King of Pentacles. Okay, well, um, they're pretty stable in their bachelor, bachelorette life. They're, um, you know, they, I kind of get this feeling of they haven't grown past that yet. Or they have commitment issues here. But let's go ahead and see what's coming up for your combination, your connection energy. Oh, yeah. See? A lot of anxiety and worry. Sleepless nights. Conflict. Oh, my goodness. Competition. And balance. Okay. So, basically, there's something off balance. You're not wanting the same things here. They want to have their single life. They're not into commitments. They have a commitment phobia or something like that. They haven't grown up for that aspect in their life, the emotional aspect. And what it's doing is, you know, you're pretty stable in the relationship. You're pretty content and you're independent on your own as well. Like I said, you are very sensitive with this uh, situation and you really have a lot of feelings for this person. But it doesn't look like they're able to commit. So this is creating a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of competition, a lot of conflict. Um... I, I really get the sense with this five of wands as well is that they don't want a single relationship. They want to date around. So that's going to cause some friction with you guys. So let's see what the advice for spirit is here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you can't get on the same page and don't want the same things, it definitely is going to cause some heartbreak. Let's see what else. Ace of Pentacles. So basically the universe and spirit is saying, that you know unless you want a casual casual fling or friends with benefits kind of type relationship um which usually if one doesn't and one does that's not going to work because there's going to be heartbreak here so there might be um uh advice to, not might but there is advice here that spirit is saying that it might be time to start a, a new beginning in a different area of your life you know maybe focus on you why this person gets themselves together but you know we really shouldn't wait around for anybody we should still live our life to the fullest. And it does look like you're pretty content in your life. So you, this might be a time that you need to uh, break away from this person until they figure out what they want. Um, or if they don't want a commitment and they don't want a long-term relationship and you do, then you're going to be wasting a lot of time waiting around for this person. So let's see what this last card is here. Yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to be a lot of conflict. It's going to be a lot of heartbreak, conflict to try to force somebody to do something they don't want to do. Um... And, you know, if you're looking for a long-term commitment or, or um, exclusiveness, it doesn't look like this person's ready for that. So that is your message for this weekend. Um, I hope you have a great one. And if you're in the, on the East Coast, uh, stay dry <laughs> because of this hurricane. But take care. Bye.